Big L, switching the train. I would stand right here, that's what I would usually do. Yeah, but it's regulation. Yeah, I know, but if you were over it, I'm standing. No, I know, I'm just reminding you. I have two. And I also actually do this railroad. So I know this railroad policy. So who's pulling the 464 tomorrow? Which engine? Maybe 42 will be doing it. I don't know. We don't ever know that until morning. Yeah. So when does the goose get back here? The galloping goose, number five. I don't know if they're coming back tonight. They were up at Elk Park when we started down, so they may be staying up there tonight. I'm not sure. They have an itinerary inside the depot. Yeah. Give you all that. Yeah. I've actually been busy. They were both up there. Eureka and Goose were both up at Elk Park. When we yeah. Started yeah. Yeah, I was busy doing the 42. We're getting her gunk rear wheels back into shape. how much stuff is on those wheels. 
It's all bad. Okay. Yeah, you guys need to really clean her up. Good. Oh yeah, you gotta go change the switch up ahead, huh? Okay. The first train already came in. It was 486 that came in. 482 is the next one. Yeah. Keep them running every night. And then we put out the fire. Yeah, so they don't have to deal with it. Yep. Here we come. He's coming. Give him time. Maybe it is in 482. Who knows? It feels good to be back home where I used to live. It always feels good to be home. I used to live here. Yeah, and then I left for a Yep, 482. Knew it. I've been restored three times. Just one. be over here in a little bit. Give them time, I guess, to keep going. Those things shovel tons of coal each day. 
Yeah, they I keep. Saw it yesterday and saw it again. Yeah, they keep them running every night. And then we put out the fire. Yeah, so they don't have to deal with it. Yep. Here we come. He's coming. Give him time. It isn't 482, who knows? It feels good to be back home where I used to live. It always feels good to be home. I used to live here. Yeah, and then I left for... Yep, 482. Knew it. I'm going to record three times. Just one. Here we go, 482. She's gonna be a beauty to see. You guys are okay. restored three times in the last couple of years. Three times. I cannot believe it. You guys might want to clear a little bit quick because the train's coming a little bit faster. And we got a train on the way. If you guys want, you can watch from here to watch her couple up. Hold on, folks. Clear. Just filming, you can go. Good. 
this, this is the 830 one. 830? Yeah. They're just hooking her up now. And then the 915 one won't leave board until like 9 at the latest. This is the 831. This is the 831? Yeah, that they're hooking up right now. Can we walk down this way? Yeah, go ahead. To the, uh, oh, station? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. When you get closer, cover your ears. They're loud. The whistle. They change them. On each engine, they change them. Each year. Yeah, just wave to him. See you when you get back. Nomad left already this morning. Yeah, yeah. On the eight, the six o'clock one. Next one's coming out in a little bit. They're, she's right over there, backing out and getting more sand. We get 486 today. That's our lucky train today.
482 just left. Okay. No, it's not that bad. I want to see it. they have growing right now. We should be on the highland any minute by now. No. It goes up. It, it goes and it goes past it. Yeah. Yeah, it goes into Cascade Y and then turns around when it's winter time. We're going straight to Silk Jane. How about that glacier? Glacier golf course? Yeah, Glacier Bay. I don't know about that. Oh, we might see it. We might. I don't know. We might get lucky enough to see it. There's the train on the other side. First stop, water stop is Needleton. I would take your pictures and then move from the camera. We're trying to I'm trying to videotape here.
It's okay, don't worry about it. Durango. Yeah, we're heading out right now. Did you cut the grass yet, Douglas? Oh, you're going to do it today? Okay. Okay. Were you able to get in the back okay? Okay. Because I didn't leave the gate open. I had it shut. Did you just pop the wall or something? How did you get into the... Oh, it rained? Okay, good. We didn't get any rain up here. No, no rain. Okay. Yeah, no, no problem. Okay. 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 Bye. You notice that mudslide that you guys had a while? 
while back, caused new rapids. Yeah. Yeah, look at how good the rapids look now from all that rain you had. Are we going to see any waterfalls? I think so. Most of them are pretty low. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, uh, Tank Creek is pretty low. Yeah. yeah. We need more I was in this engine yesterday shoveling the coal last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I was getting her ready for tonight today. Awesome. Yep, she's ready to go now. Good job. She'll ask, nice she'll ask for maybe a couple more miles until she needs more coal. <laughs> The rest of the passengers had to be bussed back. The trains were stuck in Silverton overnight. So some of the passengers who decided to stay to wait. There's the train! It's going to be a little bumpy going out. train we just left Durango yeah we're heading out right now did you cut the grass yet Douglas oh you're gonna do it today okay okay were you able to get in the back okay okay because I didn't leave the gate open I had it shut did you just pop the wall or something how did you get into the oh it rained Okay, good. We didn't get any rain up here. No, no rain. Okay. Yeah, no, no problem. Okay. 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 Bye. You notice that mudslide that you guys had a while back caused new rapids? Yeah. Yeah, look at how good the rapids look now from all that rain you had. Are we going to see any waterfalls? Hold on, everyone. This is the Wyatt Hermosa area. We turn the trains around here sometimes if we had a problem.
work, folks.
We're in actually a campsite. This is the same campsite and near Hamosa. This is further out.
good job. You made sure the camera did not fall. That's right, I did. Thank you so much. Once this video gets done, I'll make a copy for you free of charge. <laughs> How about that? On this whole trip. <laughs> I'll even put in high definition for you. <laughs> yeah. You would just have to just give me your address and I'll ship it out to you right away. I do it usually to sell DVDs and stuff sometimes. I make money so I can get the 40 to back. Here we come, Hamosa. That's why we're slowing down. We're crossing the bridge to pull into Hamosa. Yep, Hamosa Junction, folks. Silverton. for it and stuff. 
It's fine. I see her. Now if we were closer, we would be able to get more of her. But we're in the way in the back. There's three open cars on this train. Us, the one in front of the concession car, and then the one behind the loco area. Three of them, open cars. where the workers used to live, but no one lives there now. Needleton siding and stuff. That's where the timber used to go to. Because this train used to carry logs. It was a logging train for so many years. And then once we get into Needleton, you'll see an old mill, mill crank thing that turned where you put the wood in and it will cut it. It should be along here somewhere, but I don't know where. Yeah, I don't remember where it was.
Well, what do you see? Lumber wheel thing must be gone. Might have demolished itself. Have we passed what? Have we passed where the landslide was? No, it's between mile post 45 and 46. So it'll be a little bit of time. That must mean the Eureka and number five is what we're going to see. That's the original bridge that the train used to run on. Into the mine. That's where she fell apart. It's going chugga 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 Here we come, we're coming to the siding now.
Yeah, for the maintenance way. be able to see the train from this side. It might be on the other side, I really recommend. If you want to get good shots, try the other side. Because you'll see the train turning. Yeah, if you want to go inside, it's warmer there. from ditch dispatch that's why we were delayed for a little bit I had to call down to dispatch and tell him we're ready to go and see if the line was okay huh yeah they've gone inside because it's cooler in there then it's warmer in there than out here. You can go inside if you want. You can say goodbye to Sophie and hello to Durango because we're leaving this for good. Hold on to something. It's going to be a little bit bumpy. Yeah, everyone's going inside because. A lot of people took the bus. Yeah, they don't have to, they don't charge you for anything. Because it, there's a lot of empty seats. Because a lot of people took the bus back. They do pan for it still, yeah. It's in the animus right now. Just luck, yeah.
open cars to open? Uh, yeah. you know, like these ones up front? Um, yes. Oh, cool. That's good.
gave her the maintenance wig. be able to see the train from this side. It might be on the other side, I would recommend. If you want to get good shots, try the other side. Because you'll see the train turning. Yeah, if you want to go inside, it's warmer there. We got the okay from ditch dispatch. That's why we were delayed for a little bit. I had to call down to dispatch and tell them we're ready to go. And see if the line was okay. Huh? Yeah, they've gone inside because it's cooler in there. Then it's warmer in there than out here. You can go inside if you want. You can say goodbye to Sophie and hello to Durango because we're leaving this for good. Hold on to something. It's going to be a little bit bumpy. Yeah, sure. Everyone's going inside because. A lot of people took the bus. Yeah, they don't have they don't charge you for anything. Because it, there's a lot of empty seats. Because a lot of people took the bus back. They do pan for it still, yeah. It's in the animus right now. Just luck, yeah.